What's up, what's up, what's up? How y'all doing? Alright, so like I was telling y'all, ugh, alright, good sign that people wear deodorant. But look, like I was telling y'all about my story, my ups and downs, let's start off like this. Alright, I was working for a place for two years doing my thing that I really love to do, which is personal training. Um, after working those two years, um, my first year I came in, I did fantastic. I did marvelous. I was putting in all the work and just going crazy. Being the person that I am and showing my full potential in the job, in the workforce. After months of doing that, they didn't want to, like, you know, do anything as in, like, bonuses or just raises or just something different to just, you know, some that, you know, every job has a, something that they do differently for the six months of you being there, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got that, that period. You got what it's called, but you know, they said they was going to put me at this certain amount of pay in the beginning, then, you know, after they see what I can do, and boom. So I came in there, went crazy the whole six months. They didn't do nothing. Did the whole six years, I mean, the whole um, year, still didn't do nothing. So I'm like, dang, I'm doing all this work. I'm not getting recognized or anything. So I just, you know, left it alone. Second year came around, I was just coasting at that point because I'm like, okay, these people are not going to look out for me. For when they came and get their management together. So, you know, it's really no, no, no use. You know what I'm saying? So I, um, was just doing my stuff to get by, you know what I'm saying, all that. But then, you know, that first year I was there, the manager he quit or stepped down. So I was like, shoot, man, why you why you stepped down? Why you quit? It was like, um, it was like, yeah, man, it was too stressful. Stuff was going on with whoop. So that scared me already. Like, man, I'm not gonna take that job. You know what I'm saying? Cause <laughs> this boy right here, he good. I mean, we both good, but you know, I feel like he the man for the job. So if he can't take it, then I'm not gonna do it. So second year came around, I just kept hearing people say, take that job, take that job, take that job. So I was like, you know what, forget it. I'm gonna go ahead and hop out on faith. I'm gonna take the job. So went, tried to get the job. The lady told me, no, nah, I'm not good enough for the job, right? So, basically, in so many words, I'm not good enough for the job. I'm not ready for the job, right? So, I'm all right. So, boom. She decides to quit, right? They bring a black dude in, all right? Don't know this man from a can of paint. Went up, talked to him. I guess a week of him being there. I was like, man, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to work my way up into getting this job, the management position for personal training. And he was like, you know what? After we had our discussion and talk, you know what I'm saying? He said, come back about two or three days, whatever it was. Came back, told me I got the job. All right, boom. Now, as soon as I got the job, we all had our agreement, which was to get, I get salary, I get, 50% of my packages, 10% of sales, of revenue sales, and 5% of some, 5% of revenue sales, and 10% of some, uh, I forgot what the other things were. I think it was 10% of like all the trainers, packages, whatever. So I did, I agreed to that, I signed my paper, right? So I'm thinking, you know, he kept saying he was going to train us and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm thinking, okay, all I got to do is just basically make sales. All I know to do is sell. So then, you know, I got in there and started going crazy. I'm talking about dumb. And that thing, like, acting like I'm selling drugs. No, nah, I don't even say that. And they're like, I'm selling candy to kids, to fat kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm selling um what shoot man i was i was going and i going crazy so you know um that was a good stretch this is the beginning 
fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I was having fun. I actually was enjoying work. You know what I'm saying? I actually felt like I was on the right track and going to be the best person I could be in my field and actually seeing my value in my field. But yeah, that is all for today. Hit y'all with another story next time.